we're taking, our intention is to take 20,000, you know, youths to Canela. Because the last time, when we went, some, you know, were not happy with us. Mm. Because what they were saying was that, you know, you know they, they, they wanted to go. Because the thing is, even that number of 10,000, we've mobilized more than that. But because of, you know, we didn't have the actual um, number of vehicles that we wanted. If not, we would have, you know, it would have been more than 10,000. So some had to go back home. So this is why we're saying that this time around, we want to target that number. 20,000. 20,000 Mali. Not only to go to the farm, only to, you know, be seen farming, but there's another side of it. That is, we want to continue to prove to the international community and to the whole world that the young people of this country, the youths of this country, are firmly behind President Jame. And there's nothing in this world that can move us away from that. We want to solidify our support, solidi solidify, you know, I mean, our belief in President Jame. This is also one of the reasons why we are mobilizing, you know, this large number of young people to continue to affiliate ourselves, you know, to them. And also to, uh, to, 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 to challenge the women, because it is often said that the women are more closer to President Jame. But we, the youth, that's the trend that we want to change. That's youths, why we're taking 20,000. The youth 20, are also uh, male and female, by the way. Yes, yes, of course. They are <laughs> I, male and female. I will, I will not be surprised if you have more women than men. No, of course, you will expect <laughs> that. You expect that to Yeah, happen. you will have more ladies. Of I'll course. call them ladies <laughs> <laughs> than, than, than boys or whatever. Anyway. Because they are uh, more committed. What is on the ground at the moment as we speak? What is on the ground? Uh, what is the program like? When, what have you started so far in trying to get these 20,000? Are you going to get them from uh, government departments, ministries, the rural areas? What is going on? No, it's all inclusive, Elijah Mali, mm. as we speak. Because Gambia is one. You know, and then, like I said, majority of Gambians, you know, 99% are in support of President Jame. So when you call up such an event, a lot of people will want to align themselves with, you know, uh, with that. Mm -hmm. So we've taken um, that into consideration, and that was the reason why we've alerted, you know, everybody. You know, all the stakeholders were informed, like I said. You know, when we did it the last time, stakeholders, you know, uh, sorry, um, parastatals, you know, took part in it. You know, other business institutions also took part in it because they thought, they felt that it is important that, you know, they be part of it because um, the leadership is only one and everybody is aware of, you know, what President Jam is doing in this country. So, like I said, a, committee, a, a meeting was held and then the stakeholders were invited, subcommittees were formed, you know, um, people were assigned with responsibilities. So those who are supposed to contact, you know, the, the, the mobilizers or the organizations that are within uh, outside Banjul and Serakunda has already been done. Right now, as we speak, everybody who is supposed to be part of it is being informed about this activity, right? And there are also um, um, other committees that are on the ground working towards making sure that, you know, this program becomes a success. Um, the accommodation committee has already gone to Kanilai to look at, you know, accommodation facilities. Uh, we already have also um, uh, the foundation committee also in place. Food is not a problem. We don't, we don't want to, um, um, food is not a problem. Like I said, because the president, mm. we are going to the president's village, his hometown. So for that, it's never a problem mm. because anyone who knows can lie. He's your host. Yeah, he's you're our the, host. You're, you're, you're the guest. We're the guest. So we have no problem with feeding because we know President Jami will feed us mm. to, the, to the maximum. So that one is not a problem. It's not a headache. Probably where we're thinking is transportation to mobilize, you know, these people. That's where our headache is because people are willing and are ready to go. Yes, as we speak. Mm. Yeah. Um, Pierre, uh, let me uh, ask you here now. I mean, uh, you, you mentioned that it's not only going to farm, mm -hmm. but you want to use the occasion mm -hmm. to do something else. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be um, like having uh, meetings mm -hmm. and trying to uh, politicize mm -hmm. uh, the event and mm -hmm. trying to tell the, the, the youths there that, look, this is a leadership that we're believing. Mm -hmm. This is a leadership that we'll have to support. Uh, things like that. Yeah. Will that be part and parcel yeah, of the that's going to be part of it. That's going to be part mm -hmm. of it. Because the way we plan it... Now, what would be the agenda? 
Well, actually, um, um, the agenda itself is like the reason, one of the reasons why we're taking the youths, you know, to the farm is for them to be able to see for themselves what the president is doing when it comes to farming. The president has been calling on the youths of this country to go back to the land. And we want to take this number of youths to Kanilai for them to see that <coughs> farming is something that all of us can engage in. Since the president is doing it, probably who have more opportunities than us when you know he have his leave who can simply fly to England, America with his family and enjoy that. But he's not doing that. He retired, you know, back to his, you know, village and then, you know, carry on farming. And we want the youth also to realize that we can do it. There's the, there, there's the chance and there's the opportunity for, for, for us also, you know, to go into farming. These are one of the reasons why we, why we intend to take this large number of youths to Kanilai. <clears throat> the other thing also, like I said, is for us to have the opportunity to be in solidarity with the president, to, to, to reaffirm our support, our loyalty to him and to the Gambia as a country. And to also, like I said, um, uh, uh, use the opportunity to inform those people that are outside this country that the youths of this country, the Gambia, are firmly behind President Jame. And there's nothing in this world that can take away that support you know, from us. This is exactly what we want to achieve. You also mentioned earlier during our conversation that though it seems a bit far away, but elections around the corner, three years is like, mm -hmm. it could be like three months. Three Time months. is very, very fast. Uh, exactly. now, uh, nowadays, um, the APRC is a very strong party. Mm -hmm. And with a leadership like President Jame mm -hmm. and a strong youthful population, mm -hmm. President Jame can relax. Mm -hmm. He's got people like you mm -hmm. and the youths of this country mm -hmm. to rely on. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. He can rely on us because President Jame, like I said earlier on, has created the enabling environment already for every Gambian, you know, to realize your potentials and then, you know, contribute your quota towards national development. He has opened doors, not windows. And Gambians have realized that. Gambians have realized and they've seen that, that President Jame is an exemplary leadership. Just let me take you back. Some time ago, President Jame was going around town, you know. Malik, you know, I get, I got, I was, I get so much you know, um, excited when I saw the president, you know, interacting directly, you know, with the people. You cannot imagine. I asked myself, where in Africa do we ever see, you know, a head of state, you know, who comes down to the level, you know, of his people interacting with them in that manner? You know, it's not happening anywhere. Probably they haven't done much for their people that gives them you know, that confidence for them to interact, you know, with their local people. But President Jaime knows fully well that the Gambian people appreciate him because he's a leader who connects himself much more, you know, with, with, with his people. So uh, based on that, Malik, uh, and the APRC being also a well, you know, structured party, we know, you know, um, there is a burden, but we are not that much, you know, worried about it. Because like I said, you know, for 19 years now, Gambians have seen, even those outside have seen, unless you don't want to, you know, even the dead and even the blind mm. can see and feel it. Of course. You understand? So, we, yes, we are preparing, you know, for the next coming elections. Right now, what we have on our table, being the Office of the National Youth Mobilizer, is to try to work on, you know, um, promoting the idea of youth leagues, you know, so that they will get, you know, orientated, you know, because what we want is, you know, uh, for the next 30 to 40 years, 50 years, going to whatever, President Jami will continue to be here. You understand? So we will continue to indoctrinate them. We will continue to make them know, see, and believe that the only leader is President Jami. So as, as, as a fact of the matter, these are some of the um, things that we're beginning to work towards, you know, like I said, promoting, you know, um, youth leagues, probably those who are you know, less than 18 years, and those also who will be 18, you know, by then. Identifying them, making sure that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they are grabbed, 
and then put in the right perspective so that 